My nigga, I'ma blow up your house For the last few years, I had control of the south Whoa. When you head up north, north. he the one with the coat huh? French Montana, huh? straight off the boat I get it, straight off the boat I need it, straight off the boat I get it, straight off the boat I need it, straight off the boat I get it, straight off the boat I need it, straight off the boat I get it, straight off the boat I need it, straight off the boat I get it I got in trouble, you know, because yeah. uh, I kind of went crazy on, on on French Montana. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying. Right. And um, I went crazy on French Montana, so Joe didn't like it. You know, French Montana interviewed me before. Yeah, I used to be on a cocaine D C uh, uh, on DVDs and all. Yeah. I used to be on all that shit. So he's my little man from down the block. Uh, you know, I, the people try to kill me for. I mean, I'm just not pistol Pete and bust my gun everywhere nah, I go. Sure, sure. I mean, I get tried on too. Yeah. So you know, he used to be scared for years, running around, scared Macho Joe gonna smack me. You know, because I kind of fuck with Fatey and and all this. He used to be he's a paranoid, scared guy for years. I know there's a lot of politics. You know, and I, I know a lot of people. You know, and I don't dig. You know, and French Montana is a fucking punk, and the whole bad boys are gay, and I went nuts. But, you know, went out like that, I should have just kept it at French rather than, you know. Sure, sure. When you say, you know, everybody else, the whole back, you know, we're talking about people that it might be sure, cool with sure, me, sure. D-Rock. You know, I, it was something that was just, it that was just it. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't appreciate that shit because I, I like to get a hold of motherfuckers. If I call you, trust me, it's about something. If I, you know, it's not, it's not just to say, hey, how are you? Where you at? What you Where you at? Performing at where? Oh, shit, I'm going to be there right in the front waiting for you. Bill hop nightmares of a What's up, what's up, what's up? Boy French Montana here making history to my own trash ball. You know, we in here, you got the camera on my face. That shit bright, that's just that's just crazy. That shit fucking eyes suck up daddy. Two zones, state troopers, that's the situation. Wait, all this water on my neck, that's precipitation. Crack the R8 windows, get some ventilation. My real niggas shall rejoice. This is celebrate. Nah, this is too much though. This like this is the pure. Right. No, 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 no. It's not that I'm shit. Saying, I'm saying that's how no, You're not listening to me. <laughs> no, I know this it's not. <laughs> this is not even the one that this you think is it. Yeah. This is the one that's that's it. That's really no, it. What? More than active. Listen to me. I'm your brother. <laughs> This right here. I'll taste it. I'll let you know. You're going to miss a couple of shows. <laughs> no way. No <laughs> way. This is perfect. It's my <laughs> First time, and, and they yell about Gucci. Gucci didn't do French. Walker did. Gucci didn't like French. Because the first time he went to the studio to do a song with him, he paid Gucci $5,000 to get on the feature. And he was just sitting in the studio. But Gucci was going out the back door. Gucci yeah, took, gone. Gucci took left. the money and left. Oh, he left. And, and he's like, was like yeah, yeah. yeah, and then he Gucci called left. me, and Prince was like, yo, everybody kept calling me, like, yo, Gucci left. And I said, what are you talking about? And I called him, and I said, Gucci, where the hell are you at? Why you taking that goddamn boy money? Yeah. And then he's like, man, fuck that pussy ass nigga. Yeah. Like, he wasn't yeah. doing nothing. Yeah. And I said, Gucci, you can't do no shit like that. Yeah. So then Prince called me, he's yeah. like, yo, auntie, that's all the money I yeah. had. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah. I didn't have no yeah. more money. He said, yo, he just took my money, just went there. I'm like, who's saying that to you? Prince. Oh, oh, and I'm like, fuck Gucci, <laughs> what you do this shit? Gucci took away money. Surfboard to the snowboard. Montana. <laughs> You know when you hear that? Hand. Murder. Hand. French, French, giving out cocaine, but they ain't shit on the thing. Damn, yeah, Corey, such a horn to me. One late night, my ops was on to me. But unfortunately, Quinn popped up and got him off me. Oh uh, but I slept Ooh. right back, nobody forced me. He knew uh -huh. that same shit was costing me. Now come and walk with uh -huh. me. So every other time when he was saying, you know, little stuff about me, I let it slide because, you know, we grew up, but people don't realize we've been enemies 
way longer than we've been friends. So I know him more as an enemy than I know him as a friend, if that makes sense. I know him as for like eight years as a friend. Your whole perception of me came from Cameron. The whole world's perception of me came from Cameron and his affiliates. My beef with Jim comes from Cameron. Jewel said even he inherited a beast with me because of Cameron. Nobody really knows my side. So that's what made it so crazy because it's the first time you heard my side. Tongue's version of what happened. How, how in the world can, listen, there's no statute of limitations to murder, right? I ain't have no problems in those streets. Cam, Cam can't bully me. He ain't tough enough to bully me. He can't get nobody to help him bully me. And that's all I'm saying. You're not, you're not worrying about where that put Mace, his wife, or his kids every time Cam does that. Yep. I'm a street nigga who went to church. Imagine 20 years with a bit of bitch in the same drama Dame told you do this shit and you don't see Dame karma K9 on your ass, nigga, no distraction Pussy nigga wearing pink, guess he think he matching I'm a Sometime I, I, you better believe sometime I thought of this and Puff But as a man, you got to respect people who turn the lights on for you mm -hmm. Don't ever forget that, that's one of the rules of power Don't ever I believe that. cross the master Mm-hmm and I don't mean like he's my master. I mean that that it was his platform that allowed my talent to be seen. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was my platform that allowed his talent to be seen. And he should show you more respect is what you're saying. If for nothing else, mm -hmm. like in realistically, up to about 20, I was always second to Cam. I wore his sneakers. He was telling the truth. I washed the sneakers because I didn't. My family was so poor. We had nothing. Mm. Got in music. The narrative changed because now I'm first. Remember, Cam was all American. I wasn't all American. Mm. I'm not up here lying. Mm. I was I was in the background. Right. I was the dirty nigga. Cam was the fresh nigga. Gail put Cam on the record. Nobody put me on the record. So then when I popped, I, you better believe I had a chip on my shoulder. And that's always something that was a problem for Cam. And he shouldn't want to be second to nobody. Mm -hmm. But just think about it. Jim breaks out. You got a problem with Jim because now the shadow of being second, he's used to being first. Him and Jay is always a problem with authority. <laughs> Tell me when to stop me when I'm wrong. Um, 50 Cent, I then 50. Mm -hmm. You got a problem with 50. You got a problem with everybody that could potentially be over him not even have to be over him but mm -hmm. potentially mm -hmm. something great puff gave me that opportunity which so happened through my sister stace mm -hmm. stace is responsible she's the one that gave my tape the cooler that got me the puff mm -hmm. that got us the biggie mm -hmm. so stace is the real spearheader spearheaded person of the whole Harlem movement mm -hmm. and she deserved more respect and you respect women mm-hmm I think we can all agree on that. Church, text, know you as the nigga that snitch on the rock. DC Crips only know you the nigga they shot. OG niggas don't have no history with you on the block, and everybody seen the footage you got. Ever since 10, you was a thirsty nigga. I ain't gonna talk about the time you fucked your sister. 2002, you lost 50 pounds, also in your liver. Now you trying to sell niggas liquor. Nigga, you always play the sucker part. Where was all that Rico shit when you left Jim and Rucker Park? Matter of fact, I'm on a true life change. But let's get back to that smack and that true life change. Damn, bro. Man, the whole fucking land, though. After that 50 shit, you moved to Orlando. You had the nigga Jim on the radio. Where the cam go? Where the cam go? We all understand though, you're not really built for this shit, you're not ready to kill for this shit.